Um, hi, I hope this finds you well. So um, now that you're not in, I'll just take the recordings and then I'll post the recordings on the portal for you to be able to access during your own time. But I hope next week you'll be here so that you can continue with the class. So today I want us to go through drug abuse as a unit, uh, as a topic, sorry, and see uh, or, or study some of these drugs that are normally abused, and then also see also see the effects of this drug abuse of each and every drug. And lastly, we'll combine all the effects and uh, see them as one. So we'll first see some of these drugs together with the effects, and then later we'll also see the causes of drug abuse as well as um, the effects or general effects of drug abuse to whoever is abusing the drugs. So drug abuse can be defined in the following ways. So the first definition or a general definition is that drug abuse is one way to define a substance abuse um, uh, or one way to define this drug abuse is that it's a pattern of behavior where people use mild altering substances to a harmful extent. So you can be using a substance that normally have mild effects to you, but overuse or continue use of this substance will have a result, will result to a harmful effects at the end. So this is a pattern of behavior where these people or people who abuse these drugs normally uses these drugs who, which have at uh, the first have a mild a mild or a moderate uh, altering substance uh, which have a harmful effect at the end. So we can also define drug abuse as repeated use of the substance in ways that would be considered physically harmful repeated or continued use of a substance that would be considered that will be co uh, that would be considered physically harmful at the end then another definition definition is the use of substance um which impact the ability of the individual to meet their family social and work commitments so this substance may impact or may change your ability or may even alter your ability to meet your family, your social, your economical commitments that you normally do each and every day. So another definition is continued use of the substance despite evidence that it is leading to difficulties. You know that smoking of cigarettes can lead to lung cancer, but you still smoke, but you still start to smoke. You you, you start first and then you continue to smoke even if you know it will harm, harm you later. You continue to abuse alcohol even if you know that this alcohol might bring other harmful effects, might expose me to a lot of um, a harm uh, later in life. Then another definition is legal problems due to use of the substance. Then the mild altering substances of these drugs that people can abuse includes we have alcohol, we have prescription drugs. Yes, the normal drugs that we normally are normally prescribed by a doctor, but when you overuse them, you are abusing drugs. Then we have inhalants, we have stimulants, we have depressants, we have hallucinogens. So you'll find some of these drugs are normally used in a normal way, but when you misuse them you will end up abusing them we also have tobacco we have cut we have heroin we have cocaine we have bang and many many others that we are going to see these are some of them so what is the relationship between substance abuse and addiction so addiction refers to the physical as well as psychological dependence on a substance you can't really physically anatomically and physically stay without this drug you can't survive or you, you 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 feel that your body must take this substance for your body to function well so addiction refers to that
You are currently the only person in this conference. You are currently the only person in this conference. You are currently the only person in this conference. So, Bakisa, are you now able to hear me? What of now, Bakisa? Okay, so I was, I was saying, um, I'm still on the introductory part, so I've not gone very far. Um, which was on. Uh, so the next uh, drug that I want us to go through is heroin. The next drug that, that I want us to go through is heroin, which is also known as dope, smack, or even horse. And its effect, the effect of heroin intoxication includes drowsiness, pressure, and slowed breathing. So majority of these people will abuse these drugs because of this reason, pleasure. But it also has other effects such as drowsiness or even slowed breathing. And withdraw symptoms of these drugs includes vomiting, abdominal cramps. We also have diarrhea, confusion, aches, and even sweating. So some, those are some of, the, uh, some of the withdrawal symptoms that a person may be or may suffer from once they abuse the drug. Then overdose may result in, in decreased breathing to the point of stop breathing and even death. So when you overuse this drug, it will no, no longer cause only the drowsiness and slowed breathing, but it can cause also um, decreased breathing at a point when you, you're not able to breathe at all it normally affects the respiratory system so it will constrict the respiratory tract such that you're not able even to breathe well and what happens when you don't have enough oxygen in your blood definitely you will die because your major organs need a lot of energy and remember oxygen is normally used in the metabolism or in the breakdown of food in order to give energy to the body so because heroin is usually injected often the dirty needles use of the drug can trigger other health complications such as um, destruction of the heart valves because of the, the infections that comes with this uh, 
inject uh, uh, these dirty needles that are normally used to inject these individuals, tetanus, botulism because of clostridium botulism infections and other infections such as HIV and AIDS and hepatitis that are normally passed from one person to the other through blood. And this blood will be um, passed through these dirty needles. So uh, it's, really, it's not only that this drug will cause this direct harmful effects that can it can also uh, cause indirect harmful effects such as tetanus such as heart infections such as prostridium botulinum infection and other infections such as hepatitis and hiv and aids so you might find these individuals who abuse these drugs suffering from a lot of infections not knowing that these infections are brought about by this uh, the 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 inject uh, the injecting needles that they normally use or share among their friends when they are using these drugs. Then another type of drug that is normally misused is metha methamphetamines, also known as meth, crank, ice, speed, or even crystal, and it is a powerful stimulant that increases alertness decreases appetite and give a sensation of pleasure so people will abuse this drug because it increases some alertness maybe they want to drive for a very long time they want to lose some appetite they want to lose some kilos some of them will abuse this drug because it normally stimulates their moods so the drug can be either injected can also be snorted, can also be smoked or even eaten or swallowed. It shares many of the same toxic effects such as cocaine, which normally attack the major organs in the blood or in the body, sorry, which includes hearts, which also includes the uh, other organs such as kidneys, other organs such as lungs, which are very vital organs that are needed by the blood you or by the body you can't survive without a kidney you can't survive without a lung you can't survive without a heart you can't survive without your brain so this um meth, meth let me just call it meth causes a lot of these harmful effects some of these it withdraw symptoms that people faces when they stop using the drug include depression abdominal cramps and it increased appetite this will increase uh will increase appetite when you withdraw but when you were using it it normally decreases the appetite so other long-term effects will include paranoia hallucinations seeing things that are not there weight loss because of the decreased appetite destruction of the teeth because of the decreased appetite where you're not using the uh, you're not consuming food and also the Meth has some effect on, on the teeth as well as the heart damage as other as well as other organs that are major in the body. The fourth type of drug that is normally abused is anabolic steroids, which is majorly abused by bodybuilders because anabolic uh, steroids they normally slow down metabolism such that your body uses small amount of food that you normally consume so majority of that food will be geared or will be directed to build your body so this group of drugs includes testosterone which is a natural male hormone and it also includes and this hormone is normally the one that is responsible for building muscles in men as well as breaking the races and may as well as many other things but here it is normally used in order to build the muscles of these men so once they overuse this uh, drug to increase to increase the muscle mass or to increase the volume of the mass they have or the volume of the muscles they have or even improve performance they might be or they might face a lot of these harmful effects and these harmful effects include mental health effects they might be affected mentally dependence or they might become addicted to this drug they must have some psychological issues mood problems and develop other kind of drug abuse they may also be um, due to this addiction they might be forced to 
start to uh, to abuse other drugs in order to counteract the effect, the harmful effects of the uh, the anabolic steroids. Then the fifth drug or drugs category of drugs is club drugs that are normally used in clubs or, uh, or rave parties. And these drugs include number one. It's still loading, we'll have to give it some time. So number one is ecstasy, ecstasy, also, also called, called, uh, called as MDMA, E, -E, -E X, E pills, Adam, or, or SDP, sorry. And this is a stimulant and hallucinogen used to improve mood and to maintain energy, often for all night dance parties so some people because they want to be awake all night they have to want to have energy to dance all night through they might be tempted to use this ecstasy which is a hallucinogen it will cause you to hallucinate and a stimulant at the same time so it may also have some other effects as it, such as high fevers to the point of inducing a seizure so high fevers um, is also accompanied by contraction of muscles and this contraction of muscles may be very severe such that you might do, uh, develop some seizure and what is the effect of seizure seizure can even cause you to have a heart attack because once the muscles are very contracting are contracting at a very fast rate you might have some issues uh, uh, uh due to that then long-term use may cause damage to the brain or uh even then affect the brain ability to regulate sleep pain memory and even emotions so the normal use or the normal function of the brain includes regulate some function of the body regulate how you sleep regulate even how you feel pain it also causes you to uh to lose some memory and also have some emotional problems. You will have some irrational behavior. You have some sleeping problems. You will not even some sometimes feel pain, and even memory loss. What is the effect of not feeling pain when you are cut and you are not feeling pain? It means that maybe you will not even you will not even notice that you are cut, and you might end up bleeding uh, a lot or hemorrhaging, which may also have some effects on you. Another type of drug is GHB, also called liquid XTC, G, and blue nitro. It is normally, uh, it was once sold at health food stores. And the, the effect of this drug is related to the dosage that you're using. So the amount that you're using will determine the symptoms or the harmful effects that you will face. Effects range from mild relaxation to coma or death. And it is it's often used as a date rape drug because it is tasteless, colorless, and acts as a powerful sedative. So the michele that you normally hear that adiwekewa michele is GHB is one of them because you can't taste it, you can't see it, but it can cause you to have some sedative effect you'll find yourself sleeping or you find yourself unconscious due to this ghb and this is why people are robbed easily when we use this ghb because they just put it in your drink and then once you are knocked up and uh, they can either help you or even uh, take from you. Then another type of drug is Rohipol, uh, Pnol, also called Lufis or Rochi. And this is another sedative that has been used as a, a date rape drug. And effects include low blood pressure, dizziness, abdominal cramps, confusion, and even impaired memory so this is also another drug that is also 
a date rape drug that is normally used in clubs when someone wants to rape maybe a, a, a female or even a male for that matter they may put these drugs into their drinks and once they faint or they get unconscious they can do whatever they want to do with these individuals because this individual will either be diesel uh, have some dizziness are confused they don't know what is happening and more and the mother not even remember what really happened to them so a minute please uh, i work on this slide if refusing to go to the next slide, let me see what the problem might be. So the next drug that is normally and um, usually abused so um The next drug is ketamine, also called special K or K. And this is an anesthetic and can be taken either orally or injected. It will cost you the drug that is normally used in hospitals. I'm just using that as an example in order for you to be maybe stitched or even order for you to go to the theater such that you're not able, you're not, you're not feeling the nerves are like inactivated such that you can't feel any pain when you are injected when you're cut or done anything on that part that have been numbed so this is also an, 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 an uh, anesthesia that can be either taken orally or injected ketamine can impair memory and attention it does not only affect the numbness or able ability of your nerve to function well but it will also impair your brain function in terms of memory and attention high doses can cause amnesia paranoia and hallucination depression and difficulty breathing so as you can see the first four they are effects on the brain so it will target the brain first and then another effect is difficulty breathing breathing it will affect your respiratory system so this um, normally causes uh, those effects an example of this ketamine is uh, not an example is another example of another drug that is normally abused in clubs and it is LSD also called acid microdot and mushrooms also called shrooms and magic mushrooms peyote buttons popularly in the 1960s and they have been revived in our clubs now so the main effect of the two is that they normally cause 
and hallucinations, numbness, nausea, and increased heart rate. So as you can see, still the two have a lot of effects because they will affect how you, your, 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 your brain function. They will affect how you um, view things or how even you reason. They will cause numbness. They will cause nausea. They can also have effect on the heart. That's that your heart will really have a high heart rate. So long-term effects includes unwanted flashbacks and psychosis, which includes hallucinations, delusions, paranoia, and even mood disturbances. You will have um, mood issues you have. A lot of paranoia, you'll be like delusional, you'll hallucinate, all this also refer to as psychosis. So the uh, the last uh, club drugs include PCP, also known as Angel Dust, Hog, Lovi, or even Lab Coat. And it is a powerful anesthesia used in veterinary medicine. This is used on animals, but you still find people using on other people, or even themselves. It, its effects are if you are similar to ketamine, a ketamine, sorry, but often stronger because these anesthetic effects are so strong that you can break your arm but not even feeling it any pain so uh when you are under the effects of these drugs so usually tobacco and marijuana cigarettes are dipped into pcp and then smoke so you will find people abusing both tobacco, marijuana, as well as cigars, together with PCP. And remember this PCP has a lot of effects, because once you numb yourself and you numb yourself continuously, definitely you will affect your body, because you're not you're affecting your nervous system. So your nervous system which normally transmit messages from your brain to the uh, to the other organs when they are affected definitely the other organs will also be affected so those are some of the drugs that are normally abused uh, in clubs as well as in other places so let's now look what are the physical effects of this drug abuse so as we have already seen like um in some of these drugs they have some effects on organ damage they will damage your organs and remember there's some organs that you can't live without you can't live without your brain you can't live without your heart you can't live without your kidneys you can't live without your lungs so overuse or over consumption of these drugs will have a lot of effects on these organs then we have hormone imbalances where you will have its effects as psychosis You'll be delusional, you'll be paranoid, you'll have some paranoia, you'll have some mood issues because your hormones are not balanced because they're imbalanced due to the effects of these drugs. And also these drugs, some of these drugs will cause cancer. This includes tobacco, this includes bang, this includes majority of these drugs normally causes some of these cancers. Then we have prenatal and fertility issues. If you're dealing with a man, if you're dealing with a woman who is pregnant, if you're dealing with a woman who is pregnant and still abusing these drugs, definitely the harmful effects will not only be felt by the mother, but will be transferred to the unborn child. You also have fertility issues. See, some of these drugs will have effect on the fertility level of these individuals. Then we have gastrointestinal diseases. <laughs> and some some of the effects of this drug is on the gastrointestinal tract. So once this gastrointestinal tract integrity has been compromised, definitely you'll have some intestinal diseases. Then we have HIV being passed because you're not able, you're confused when you abuse some of these drugs in areas or in places that is not safe, you can be raped. You also, your mind um, reasoning is also affected. So you might find yourself being involved in rape and many, many other uh, sexual misconduct. 
sharing of needles when you're injecting yourself together with your friends can also cause the spread of these infections. Then in addition to the above medical concerns, chronic use of certain substances can lead to long-term neurological impairment. Once your brain together with the neurons or the nerve, nervous system has been affected, definitely you'll be uh, or you live um, a very um, uh, you live a very uncomfortable life because for example if the nerve supplying the hands are affected your hands will not function properly if the nerves supplying your legs supplying your organs will not will be impaired or will be affected will be compromised definitely you'll have some issues with your organ if the spinal cord will be affected because remember the spinal cord carries a lot of these nerves it, it will be affected definitely you live a very uncomfortable life and you might even die due to this then you have some, some neurological and emotional effects of substance abuse we have depression you have anxiety we have memory loss we have aggression being aggressive is not bad when you have but when you have um excess of it definitely should affect you yourself then we have mood swings we have paranoia so these are some of the neurological effects you might suffer uh, when abusing these drugs some of the most legal consequences of addictions are probation and arrest records that make it difficult to find a job definitely when your employer finds that you normally abuse you you, you are an addict of drug abuse of marijuana abuse of cocaine abuse they might feel not comfortable to uh, to even employ you because they might find that maybe you will pass this addiction to the other employees or you might might not function um appropriately even if you are a recovered drug address, uh, uh, addict sorry then we have driver license suspensions There is no any government there is not any government that will allow you to drive under the influence of this some of these drugs remember the effects of this drug that we've already um seen so if the drugs is causing some drowsiness if the drug is causing some impaired judgment or even impaired reasoning it's causing some mood swing to a person definitely they might lead to accidents so large fines you may be fined because you are using cocaine if you're fined using cocaine definitely you'll be jailed if you're or you'll be fined if you're found using marijuana you'll have to be jailed because you can also be the source of other people issues then extensive jail sentences strict community services uh, requirements so for a community to accept to live with you among themselves you have to be a straight person Otherwise, majority of these communities discourages the use of some of these drugs. Then addiction may negatively also affect your life through job loss. You're sucked because you are abusing alcohol. You are coming to, uh, to, uh, to job when you're under the influence of alcohol. You are coming to job because uh, under the influence of bang, such that you're not functioning as you're supposed to function or you're not doing your work as you're supposed to do your work so majority of these job owners or your employers will suck you then another one is the relationship changes between both friends and family members no one will be we want to be associated with a drug addict whether it is come to friends whether it comes also to family members when you are an addict you'll be even discriminated by your own people, by your own family members. Then lastly, we have divorces, where there is no one who will be, who will be comfortable to have a spouse that is an addict of a lot of these drugs. Because remember also the effects of 
these drugs. So you're giving burden to, the, to your spouse, you're giving burden in terms of they're not feeling safe, uh, safe, safe around you. You end up sometimes even beating them or even killing them. So due to this, a lot of divorces are caused by drug abuse. So that forms the end of this lecture, unless you have any question, Bakisa. So do you have any question concerning what we've covered today? Okay, so we can call it a day and then let me next week for the same. So have I given you an assignment? Let me look whether I've given you an assignment and if I'm not, I'll give you today. So I'll give you two weeks for you to do that assignment and then we can continue. So have a lovely week. Let's meet next week.